Hello everybody, this is WizWorld 100 and well, actually I'm not sure if I'm e allowed to even like YouTube this or put it online, so uh, hello uh, Corner Studio, this is WizWorld 100, playing uh, your game, Mor Mortito, Mortito, and what was it, what was it, what was it, so as usual if uh, one of you guys asked me to uh, give feedback on the game, so I will give feedback on the game. Alright, so when this starts up, we kind of like it to like just skip immediately to the game as opposed to all the the logo showing in the beginning. But I noticed some games uh, don't don't let you do that, so you know I'm, I'm not counting that against the game or anything. But you know I like most people like skipping things that they've already seen. Like you know obviously like you've seen it once, you've seen it a million times, right? So uh, I noticed there's no mouse there's no mouse capability to lo to look at things. Which uh, looking at the um, after looking at the what is it? The interface of this, I suppose it's not really necessary, but it seems kind of weird. Oh, I will say this, um, kind of somewhat intuitive, but, uh, the A button on my controller, on my controller, um, is not, will not select options, which is, um, kind of very, kind of very odd, because most other games, uh, everyone's been trained from every other game, like, to press A to uh, accept the options and B to go back, so having it be on like the X button or to the left left of the um, the button configuration layout is kind of weird. Would like it if it changed that. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, I do like the fact that you guys have full uh, full screen in uh, windowed mode, and I'm doing this in window mode. My textures are all very high. I don't really quite notice it too much. I haven't done a comparison of it. Of it, oh, but you know what? I'll, I'll take a look at what happens if I dumb it to the lowest, because I've seen the ultra part of it. Okay, but anyways, yeah. Uh, this this background or this title screen, uh, it looks really good. It looks really good. It looks like a quality game. Uh, I guess the other thing I could say is that the text could be a bit more, a bit more uh, personalized to like the theme of this game. But this is only the alpha, so this this text I assume is just probably for standing. I almost don't know why you have a continue option in the um, in your little demo. And so the game starts. Ah, spirit, I sense that you have not been forgotten. This uh, cutscene, no this opening cutscene. Looks pretty decent. Not yet been Voice acting is pretty decent, I would say. Of the blind oh yes, definitely have the option to like indeed. say skip cutscenes, especially like say say uh, peep. I say this for all games. Definitely have a skip cutscene button because uh, because for instance, I've already seen this before. I don't really need to see it again. They so, and it'd be nice, like, on repeated playthroughs, it's like, so we don't have to watch things we already know. Unless something's, like, drastically different. I remember how beautiful the horizon was. I will wait. And let's see. Oh, yeah, and then for that, for that, that wooden, uh, lady talking... I, I would say if she was completely still, that would have probably passed too, because it would feel like she's talking through her mind. But you know, that's just like another way you could have done it. The more flawless a, plur a the more flawless person is outside, the more demons he has inside. Wait, you mean the more flawless a person is outside? Wait, the more flawless person is outside. Oh, hmm. That sentence came off kind of weird to me. And now we're in the world. Oh yeah, I noticed the frame rate's kind of like, like is, is it at, is it at like for thirty frame rates per second? Okay, press X. Or is it sixty? I can't really tell. It feels like it's like at forty-five, but at at some point it can ju it jumps up to like sixty. All right, so we start on this random place of existence. And walking around, I did try to intentionally. Oh, oh, what is this? Come on, I can't walk through this. I I notice that's kind of the thing with like the boundaries of it. Uh, that part definitely needs to be work and stuff like that. You see, you see how I'm not close to the pillar or anything from that point. That's that's really bothersome 
that's really bothersome in like uh, in games because it's just like well you realistically you would you'd expect to be able to like get as close as possible like you know, like see this is reasonable I'm relatively uh, close to it. I say this because uh, with the action in the game, and if I'm trying to run away, and then like, say, I, I try to run over here, and it's like, hey, wait, I can't walk any farther? No, my plans! Because it looks like I can walk there. But it isn't. And I know there's nothing over there for me to see, but, uh, you gotta give the illusion of freedom in here. Like, I know I'm being, I'm, I'm trapped in a boundary, and trapped in the game of boundaries, but um, if you give me the illusion of freedom, it feels like I, when I hit that very edge, it's like, well, if I did, if I was allowed to jump off the edge, I probably would have drowned or something. Something like that. So it'd be nice if some of the boundaries uh, was, like, was, um... <laughs> Look at that wiggle! It'd be nice if the boundaries if the boundaries was uh, a little bit more lenient and more correct to what you can actually see. That is really weird. I gotta say, that's funny. <laughs> look at all that! Uh, anyways, if you're asking for the look of it, uh... It has a very good style to it, I gotta say. It, it feels... It feels, uh, unique to this, um... To this game, specifically. This person... I can't do anything with this person, I assume that's just a placeholder. Would've been nice if it, I could've observed, like, a... Hey, this guy's kind of... Kind of acting weird, or... Is just by himself being weird. He doesn't seem like he wants to talk. This almost feels like a claymation... Claymation kind of game. And so I've played it before, and I'm, no I'm also noticing this, is that... Uh, all the demos I've been playing, like, as of recently... Like, they're always just like a really, really short showcase of the game. And I know it's... I know in this case it's probably just like, um... Uh, what's the word? It's just like, you know, this is what we have so far, so... Uh, it kind of depends. If you ever want to, if you ever release, like, um, like a, like an official full, full-fledged demo, I would highly recommend making it so that, you know, there's something to come back to that, to check out. Maybe make it even, well, don't make it too much demo exclusive. Maybe it could have been, like, a prologue. Prologue, something that leads to the main game. Anyway, so the first time I played, I saw these stairs, so I went up here instead. Still nothing. Looking at the pretty sweet environment. Open. Now, I find this funny. It's like how I can like, move the camera while um, he's opening the door. It's not important at all, but it's kind of funny. Oh yeah, the load times. Obviously, everyone would like it if like the load times would be like super fast and all that but this is just the early stage of the game so you know optimizing will probably work a little later on so we're in this little church what did place. you leave at my house okay there's the option uh, almost forgot ah I thought I just remembered something us uh, let's see subtitle oh. never never mind I did not notice there was the subtitles. Oh yeah, I would like it if there was like a thing, like like say to like to remind you of your objective, like just to be like, oh, what you, sh what's suggested to do. But then again, that would ruin the murder, the exploration part of it, because it's like, oh well, now I need to, well now I know exactly what to do, and it's just because. Reading all this, there's no way I can get. Okay. And this mirror looks awfully suspicious. Hmm, looks suspicious. It doesn't actually, like, reflect anything. Would like some obs- Hey, are those hands coming on? Hmm, I never noticed that. Mysteries are not solved. I never got down into this. Into that area. Alright. Oh, well, good notification for telling us, like, we can interact with this, so that's a plus. It looks like a four-armed man trying to take a dump. I say that as in the sense that it's kind of funny. Play a game with me. If you win, I'll answer. A very demon souls, demons of souls esque uh, kind of feel to it. I refuse to say Dark Souls because that game's way too, way too overrated. And this, and this mini game, 
like, it's almost, I feel it's almost kind of pointless, because I thought there might have been a luck thing with it, but not really. Oh yeah, also, I'm pressing down on the button. It won't go down, you have to press right, which is very unintuitive, like, when you look at it, because it looks more like if you press down, it would go down. So, I would, I would change, like, the interface just a little bit. I, I, I say this minigame is pointless, because it, like, do I, did I really have a choice? Did, like, does it really matter what I pick? Because, because no matter what, I'm just gonna, he's just gonna, like, I'm just gonna win anyway, so it feels kind of pointless. I'm not, yeah, well, essentially I'm just saying, like, the minigame's kind of useless, because it's like, like, uh, it's just an illusion of ch choice. That makes it. That doesn't. Like, if you if you find out that you know you win no matter what, then it's like, oh, what's the point of playing the game? It's just like you should have just answered my question straight off. But then if you turn it into a an actual game where you do have to predict where it is, predict the story, it kind of limits the game a bit. So I feel like this guy really shouldn't. You shouldn't play a mini game here. It's kind of. You're adding like a middleman to like getting to the point. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, pressing down once again, I can't just jump straight down to the, what happens if my mask finally breaks, I have to like, go all the way to the right. One of millions of worlds, and first steps on the path of the human soul. You will see it in your own way, and we will see it in ours. Deep. And then look here, I have to play the game again to ask him the other questions, like can't I just play it, like if I, if you had to put this in the game. Do I actually have to... Can, can't I only just need to play it once? Look, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick even. I don't, I'm not even gonna look. Oh look, I got evens. Oh yeah, and his, and his animation is just a little... just a little weird when he was picking up the dice. And I get to ask the same question again, like... Like, I think that should Those be, like, who have grayed out. Themselves forever, and guests at our table. I feel the text should be grayed out just to be like, oh hey, you've already asked this before. Uh, but let's say I'm, at, I'm playing this game for the first time and I'm looking through the questions, looking for them questions again and selecting my dice option that have no real... Oh, I actually lost? Holy crap. Oh, so that game is random, just... Huh. Oh, you want to try again? Beware, your mask isn't eternal, you know. Yeah, but it can heal, right? Okay, I didn't think you could actually lose. Either that or the game's reading my voice. I'm still gonna pick even, though. Get even with it. You will forget yourself forever, and you will not be able to complete your journey, because no trace of this conversation or your former life will remain in your memory. The mask is the only thing connecting you to the earthly realm. Well, I guess if you have the thing where it's like, um... You sacrifice... Like your like your life is put at risk and to ask questions and oh perhaps maybe that maybe that that maybe that might make the dice game just a little bit more uh, worthwhile but otherwise I find it kind of like just pointless. All right, let's go back out. Oh hey, it loads pretty well there, or pretty quickly there. Maybe because I have it set on low settings, because it took a while when I had it on ultra. Yay, shortcut. Okay, yeah, see, but see this type of boundary box I like. Obviously, there's nothing of interest to show there, so, you know, putting a boundary box there is acceptable, if even still just a little bit weird. Alright, let's go. Let's go to the hands. This world looks kind of almost dreamlike, I gotta say, so... And at first I thought this was a little girl, but it's like, it's like a basketball on, on, actually, you know what, he kind of looks, kind of looks like a dickhead. 
potentially also a... Uh, not a... What, what was that thing from Kingdom Hearts? The mushroom enemies? It kind of looks like that. Uh, it's opening the door. I got it. Would definitely like the option to skip it. Or maybe even... Or maybe even have that in real time. All right. So I put the put the guy who looks like he's taking a dump onto the lady over here. It's kind of it's not clear what what like this did. So I know it was pointing in that direction over there. But really, it was kind of, hmm, it wasn't too clear. Now, obviously, I figured it out because, because, uh, well, it was the only path I could take. This guy looks pretty, this guy looks pretty neat. Not original, but he looks neat. And that's okay. Hmm, having it on low quality loads it faster. Long time no see, spirit. I created this room especially for those like you. Like Edward those and Alphonse from Full Metal? This path to the end. When a spirit loses its mask, it typically severs its connection to its memory and becomes a renunciation of any world. However, it will still remember, will try to remember itself, but it is all in vain. Over time, the darkness will consume it more and more, until the spirit begins to seek its purpose only in evil. This space is your reflection. Each time you lose your mask, you will find yourself in a place like this. Do I have to Remind fight my way out? Remind that all you must do is look into the mirror, and your consciousness will be given over to the mirror, which will form a memory of you, as you were. However, until the moment when the mirror forms this memory, you will not be able to recall anything else. <laughs> now, summon your light, just as I taught you. I assume it's because, uh, he says that line because I've been here before. I'm surprised the guy doesn't even just, just give you a tape recorder. Press the Y button to recall sword. That should have said, press the Y button repeatedly to call the sword. Do not allow the darkness to possess you. Fight! Never surrender! The voice actor for that light guy is kind of a little silly. A little silly sounding. Alright, so. This is gonna be like a little training thing going on. You know, this could also have been like an Arise opening scene too. Until the last light dies in your soul. Oh, I really can't move at all? What's the point? Now this is some, Fight. that was some creepy again imagery again. with like just Years, these nay, dark images coming at you. Pass, but you will withstand the darkness on equal footing. Ah, don't kick me in my butt. And I'm back here, and then, here comes a new, here comes a bit of annoyance I had with the demo when I was playing with it, where I kept dying at, uh, this one particular part. That looks so neat, it's like he's open. it's like he lit up his lightsaber. Oh yeah, and I, I, I really like that teleporting, that fast travel, what, what not. The sword attacking is feels a little a little unrefined and a little bit stiff. That's way too funny. That's way too funny. I hope you guys keep that in there because it's it's like silly to the point of awesome. Also, because I died every single time at these guys, uh, I would like to skip the cutscene where I have to watch them like come at me. Also, it's not clear if I'm actually doing any, like, damage to the...
Because I kept hitting them, but, like, it, it, I wasn't sure if I was doing anything right. Because, like, sometimes they can sneak a hit in. And then I end up dying, like, immediately. So, they kind of forced me to play just a little bit more defensively. Oh, see, you're, like, like right there. And then I gotta sit through this again, a little... bit of time used up. Watching the animation, watching the cutscene animation go again. That happened to me like five times, so I got really sick and tired of seeing that. So definitely have the skip cutscene thing, like, like people will just appreciate it, even if they don't like, even if they're not like aware of it subconsciously, they'll they'll be like, oh, thank goodness. Actually, that's not true. I think most people would be like, oh, now I gotta watch this cutscene again. I gotta watch this cutscene again. I seriously hope I don't die again, otherwise I'm gonna be watching this cutscene again. Alright. Oh yeah, for the teleporting, it'd be nice if like while I was uh while I was fighting I could teleport backwards instead of like always jumping forward forward where it was looking. Cause like sometimes I'll try to like teleport or attempt to teleport backwards to escape from an attack. But no, I gotta, like, stop and slow down for it. I thought it might have been, like, a cool thing where it's, like, after I kill someone... Or, not kill someone. Or after I defeat something, I'll teleport to the next guy and then, like, start comboing them. And then maybe you could introduce an enemy where it's, like, when you, uh, try teleporting, like, they immediately predict... Or, like, uh, attack you up on teleporting to their location. And you only got enough, uh, time to actually teleport out of that attack. As opposed to, like, uh, teleporting in and sneaking on an attack. Oh, come on! That's... That's not fun. Also, your, ma your mask to indicate your health is a little... It's a little too subtle, or, like... So, would you call it too subtle or too, or not clear enough? Because I know it's supposed to be your health, but... But, like, oh, you die so easily, it's like, why do you even have health? Oh, look at that, I gotta look at the cutscene again and I can't skip it. I can delay it, but I can't skip it. <sighs> Here we go again. Oh, I just barely managed to escape from that. I would say putting health bars would make me more gamey, but it's like, oh, that's not- Oh, come on! Ah, uh, combat's not very smooth. I'm con- I'm just a little confused as, like, a bit of, a, like, uh... Not spoilers, but, like... F but, like, uh, knowing what happens afterwards. How long does is it gonna take for that thing to pop up? The shroom guy to come in the, uh, you know, save him. I gotta watch it again. And you only got like one combo in this game. And I know the game isn't entirely based around combat from like uh, the PDF file I was given. Whoa, 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 I don't want to die. I don't want to watch that. I don't want to have to walk through here again. Jeez. Ugh. Oh. You see, it would have been nice if I could, like, teleport backwards if I hold the direction to, like, uh, teleport while I'm attacking. Alright, attack the lonely one. Oh shit! Come on, how do you sneak in a... 
How do you sneak an attack in? Oh yeah, and whoever composed the music for this scene, pretty uh, pretty fitting. I don't know if I was supposed to teleport by like watching them about to attack me. That might have been a thing. Definitely keep the fast travel thing, but uh, refine it a little bit more. Oh, you know what would have been a clear indication is um, for every unique one you defeat in that room, it changes to a, like a darkened color to be like, oh, you've already defeated this guy. Well, it doesn't really make much sense. The Stay Puff Mart. Wait, the Pillsbury Doughboy fires his pizza ball of death. Yeah, the Pillsbury Doughboy. And that, and this part of the cutscene was a little too bright to see anything. Like, I know I saw someone, like, one of the creatures get blown up, but still. I think when that fight ends, I think you should just, like, you just should just spawn in, like, the middle part instead of just, like, where you pre previously were. And now we're nearing the end of the game. Ah, there's that boundary boss that just bugs that just bugs me a bit. Like over here. Actually, the one that bugs me the most is over here. Like, I, really? I can't walk over there? I know it I know it means nothing if I do, but, you know, illusion of uh, freedom. Have you ever heard the sounds of bells? Ah! No, not those bells. Volume control. That sound is not an earthly sound. That voice is really loud. Not an earthly sound. Very, very cool scene, though. Question. What's the point in me sheathing my sword? At least at this point, anyways. Who knows, maybe I have to be... I don't know, maybe there's something with uh, sheathing the sword that will do something in the main game, but, uh... Yeah, it almost seems kind of pointless to have that sheathing mechanic. Unless it's like a weapon switch. And that there ends your little demo of the thing. So far, it shows an interesting uh, thing going on. I really like the concept art. Looks very, very cool. Oh yeah, and the uh, environment work too. Like, that looks great. All, all the concept art uh, for this game looks really, really good. But, uh, yeah, I hope you found this video, which is... I hope you found this video, um... Enlightening. On, like, at least in the current state of the game. And it's only, like, a small part of it, so... Even then... I don't know how much it will, uh, help with giving feedback. But so far... But so far it's okay. Need some refinement, and, uh, it'll be even better. So yeah, that's the, that's currently what I think about it. There might be a few more things, there might be a few more things, but um, for now that's all it is. Oh yeah, the Unreal Engine thing. I don't know why that one lo looks like the most low text out of like the entire thing, the out, out of the game. And it doesn't seem to be actual true widescreen, at least in this case. But yeah, that's, that's your game, Mortito, definitely. Uh, looking forward to it uh, as it like improves and so forth. So with that said, this is Wizard 100. Well, you're the only viewers, and I'm the uh, let's check it outer. Am I really going with that? I guess. <laughs>